me tell you, um, can't believe what I just saw at the end of that Seahawks Packers game. What an unbelievable, disgusting display of ref ball. The Seahawks get screwed over again by the refs. Now, should the Seahawks have stopped the Packers, you know, first, you know, before the two-minute warning? Yeah, probably. But ultimately, it will be the Green Bay Packers traveling up to San Francisco to take on the 49ers in the NFC Championship game next Sunday. Um, Packers had control of this game the first half, and, you know, Devontae Adams was getting... Big time touchdown passes. Aaron Rodgers was throwing it beautifully. Um, and Aaron Jones was doing his thing, you know. But second half comes around. Seahawks, you know, they start to get back into it. Russell Wilson and company start to get back in the swing of things. And after being, you know, just beaten up, battered, bruised the entire game, you know, the Seahawks came in, made a game out of it. Now, they did do something stupid, which was punt the ball like a fourth down, something like that with like five minutes to go, knowing that they may not get the ball back. But ultimately, um, the ref ball did it again, man. It did it again. It decided the game. Jimmy Graham makes a huge catch for the Packers, but he was down short. I don't care what y'all say. Uh, some, some Packers fans are probably going to be in here in the comment section like, oh well, well, he got the first down, we win, yeah, but I don't think so, he, he was about half a yard short, and the refs just gave it to him anyway, um, so yeah, the Packers are gonna meet the Niners in the NFC Championship game, who would have thought, uh, after all that, you know, and then the earlier, in the earlier, um, stuff that we had, today. Noah said it was going to make three videos, but I, I I just couldn't break myself to make three videos. But earlier in the day, we had the a the last AFC game, the last part of the AFC division round, because the Titans already are going. They'll be going to either. They would be going to either Houston or Kansas City. And it ended up going to Kansas City. But at first, oh boy, at first, you know, it was it was crazy, man. It was like, it was 21 nothing. It became, you know, like 28-24 in a, it became 24 nothing. Um, you know, for the Texans, you know, Watson was throwing touchdowns. The, the, I mean, special teams was doing work, you know, on both sides. You know, for a punt that got blocked. And the Texans took it back. And then, you know, a special teams error by Tariq Hill that gave the Texans another touchdown. But then the Texans do not go for it on a fourth and one. And that ended up being, that ended up being what cost the game. It, it was early too. It was still the second quarter. But then Patrick Mahomes and the company came roaring back. 51 points they scored. They came, they saw, and they just beat up the Texans. After that, after the after those errors and stuff that m marred them for about a quarter and a half, and then they just came in and just beat up the Texans, took their lunch money, and they're going to stay right at home to host the AFC Championship game against the Tennessee Titans next Sunday. So. Um, yeah, crazy man, crazy, right? Well, we got a whole nother video tomorrow talking about, you know, what, what's going to happen to these conference championships, but first off, let's, or rather lastly, um, as we end the night here tonight, lastly, do you know anything about college basketball, do you? Okay, well, throw everything I just said. Throw, throw a lot of things. Throw, throw your um, throw your biases out the window because I don't know what's going on in college basketball anymore.
I really don't. Um, you know, Purdue was at home today against Michigan State, and it was a bloodbath. We're talking just absolutely disgusting performance by Michigan State. I mean, it was just, it was pretty bad. You know, it was a pretty, pretty bad game. Um, I mean, good God. You know, what in the world happened here? What in the world happened here? I'll tell you what happened. Purdue just came in and stopped Michigan State. I mean, good Lord. Like, this defense of Purdue is suff was suffocating today. They were making three-point shots, causing Cassius Winston to commit some of these turnovers, making Tillman a non-factor. And, you know, this Purdue team is kind of wishy-washy. You know, at times they'll they'll come in and they'll, you know, get a big time win like this. Other times they'll lose to teams like Illinois, Texas. So, uh, I don't even know right now. This this defeat that Michigan State got handed was pretty bad. Um, but I'm sure they'll bounce back because you know it is Michigan State. So you know it is what it is. Um, I guess 142 was the final there. Michigan State just did not have an answer for Purdue at all. I mean, it was just rough. Um, and in my opinion, as far as I know, I think, as I said yesterday, when I recapped the Baylor-Kansas game, I think Baylor will be the number one team in the country. They have the best resume right now. They have snuck under the radar for quite some time now, and they are going to look pretty damn good come tournament time. Now, there's still two undefeateds left in college basketball, but, you know, time will tell when they lose. Time will tell what in the world next week is going to, you know, bring us in college basketball. But, um, yeah. So, yeah. Who knows what's going to happen. We'll find out. We'll find out very shortly. Uh, but... Uh, tomorrow, we got a couple of videos coming for y'all tomorrow, so stick around, stay tuned. Um, classes start tomorrow, so I will be, I will more than likely be gone for about the first half of the national championship tomorrow. Uh, more than likely, probably about two and three quarters of that game will be gone, uh, which is unfortunate, but the show must go on. Um, yeah, three videos should be coming for you tomorrow. Maybe four, who knows how many videos I feel like putting out tomorrow, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, tonight was a good night. Um, if you wanted some excitement, because we got it. Kind of. Well, we got some controversy, at the very least. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, so with that being said, you guys are the real MVPs. All 46 of you and all the unique viewers that come to this channel each and every day. Um, that being said, and good night, and see you tomorrow.